What it is, what it do, it's your girl, Madness Nigerian. I am back at it again with a new video. I'm sure y'all can tell by the title, this is the part two to my Fashion Over is a Fraud video. Now y'all, let me, let, let me tell y'all this. Guys, I had no idea that that video was gonna do the numbers that it did. Even though it was just a couple of thousand people, I was very, very happy that that video reached that many people. If you go look on my channel and you compare the views of all my videos, you would actually see that that video is the is my most viewed video, and I couldn't be any. I couldn't be much more happier because it wasn't just about making that video, it was the message and I wanted people to actually get that message and and I'm just happy that it reached the, you know, I, feel, I felt like it reached the people that I wanted it to reach. It could have reached more people but unfortunately I don't have that platform yet so the amount of people that were able to click on that video and watch it, I'm impressed. I couldn't be much more happier about that. So I want to say thank you guys. Thank you. Number two, the comments. Yo, I had no idea. Like I had no idea. Like I told, like I said in the in the first video, I wouldn't have messed with Fashion Over if it wasn't for my sister. I had no idea that Fashion Over is actually doing this to people, and some people were actually even treated worse than I did. And it was just so sad. And I just couldn't understand that you're still running as a business. And how could y'all get away with this stuff? And you know who, who we need to blame? We need to blame some of the influencers that they that Fashion Over sends free clothes to and they help them adv advertise that shit on Instagram and then lie to us to go buy it. Knowing that they did not buy it, they just got free clothes. So they need to take some of those blames too. Which is why it's looking like Fashion Nova can't be stopped right now because the thing is they sent free clothes to half of the Instagram influencers then the rest of us gotta go buy it, buy it and they, they treat us bad. And we don't have the platform for anybody to listen to us. And none of those influencers are gonna call them out because they got free clothes from them. So now it makes sense to me. But I just want to tell y'all to all the ladies that's been that's been telling me that you know Fashion Over did the same thing to y'all. Fashion Over even did worse things to some of you guys. My heart really feels for y'all, and I tried my best to come in back to everyone. And I think I, I believe I come in back to as many as possible as I as I could. And I just want y'all to know that my heart really feels for you guys, and I, it really like this is something that really bothers me, and I wish I could do more about it. But I, unfortunately, I can't. I don't have the resources to. It's just sad. It's just sad. But I've made my decision. I am no longer messing with Fashion Nova. If you guys want to continue to shop on there, some of the ladies in the comments add, add some ideas that I'm going to tell y'all. If you watch this video and you want to continue to shop on Fashion Nova, some people said it is good for you to sh um, use PayPal. If you use PayPal, PayPal can be the middle guy between you and Fashion Over and if they don't send you your stuff or if they don't give you your money back, PayPal will help you dispute it quickly. And I am from personal experience, not, not directly with Fashion Over, I know PayPal is very good with disputes and stuff like that. I also know that PayPal has this thing called pay later. So, you know, the money doesn't get taken out of your account, your personal account yet until your order actually gets delivered. So you can use PayPal and you can also use PayPal. Inside PayPal, you can use pay later. And if you do that, you don't have to worry about your money being gone because until you get your stuff and you're satisfied, then the money gets taken out of your account. So that is also another good option. 
Another option, they're like, file a dispute with your bank. I, I know that I could file a dispute with my bank, but I just always know that the process with the banks are just all a little longer. And I, for me personally, I did not want to deal with none of that stuff. I just want to be able to get my money back. I think for a lot of people in the comments that were, you know, telling me all this stuff, they know that they, there's options to dispute, but it's just the fact that Fashion Over did that is just totally against the principles of everyone. And that is why we're all upset. That is why I am upset. Is that why should I have to call my bank or why should I have to follow this speech to get my money back? I should just be able to contact the customer service of where I got my stuff from and get my money back like easy peasy. So you know it's just like it is very upsetting that you have to go through all those steps but now that you know if you're fine with doing if you're fine with dealing with that then you can continue to shop at fashion over but that is up to you i'm not gonna tell y'all what to do but for me i gotta do i don't, I don't want to deal with none of that crap so i am not gonna mess with fashion over on that note okay Somebody else also said that you could report Fashion Over to Better Business Bureau. I don't know what that is, but I think they're probably like the uh, like the corporates to like I don't know I don't know what they would do about it if you if you if you report it. But I guess you can you can look it up on Google and report it. Yeah, I don't know. I just wish I had like a better platform. If you guys could push this video and share it and share it and share it, we could actually reach more people and get our voice heard. So I think one of the other things that's gonna help is by sharing those videos and more people are seeing it and it's raising more attention to what Fashion Nova is doing. And you know, through that way, it could help a lot more. So I wanna tell you guys, as you're watching those videos, this one and the first one, share it. If you're sharing, your friends get to see it, somebody else sees it, they share it. It's, you know, it just goes on like that. And together, together, we can make a bigger platform to get our voice heard the right way and actually make a difference and make changes. So I want y'all to also take that into consideration, okay? I know that I didn't show you guys the stuff that actually came from Fashion Over, but yes, here it is. And I thought that it would be a good idea to actually try it on and let's see if the clothes are actually even worth, worth it. And I don't think it's gonna be worth it because the trauma is not worth it, okay? I shouldn't feel like I'm being forced to get stuff and I'm still not happy, you know what I mean? Because I feel like they forced this on me when they could have just given me my money back instead of actually sending it out and ignoring my email, you know what I mean? So yeah, but I'm gonna try it off for y'all and let's see, let's see. So guys, this is the first dress from Fashion Nova. This dress is actually not bad. I like it, it's okay. And it is like a shaggy dress. In the picture, I thought it would have like a much more of like a softer feel, but it doesn't, it's just shaggy. And, and it's, I mean, it's okay, it's a, it's a nice dress. It's a nice dress. So it's okay. I just wish that the customer service would have been better then I would be much more happier with the clothes. But for some reason, I'm not happy because of how I was treated, even though this dress is, is, is nice. But that's just how things work, guys. Everything works together. You have to treat people nicely. <laughs> Fashion over, like seriously. This is dress number two. And this is Dazzle, baby. You know what? This, this dress, this is a cool little dress. This, this dress can pass, okay? This dress almost, almost want to make me forget what Fashion Over did, but I can never forget. <laughs> I can 
can never forget. I'm petty, okay? This is, if we want to get petty, let's get petty 2018. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm petty. Fashion Nova still got me messed up, and I will still not forget, forgive them until they change that whack ass policy. I don't care. Because you can get this, this dress anywhere else. But, y'all see it? It's sequins. <laughs> Honestly, this dress looks better in person than it, than in a picture. Cause in the picture, my sister thought it was ugly, but I I just know I wanted, you know, you want dazzle cause of the season right now. But this is a this is a cool little dress. It's a cute little dress. What y'all think? All right, let me drop in my second dress before my camera dies. I'll be right back. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have anyone to help me zip the back of this, but, so it's just gonna look awkward. But I got this two-piece that was supposed to, it's like a matching two-piece. Hold on, let me back up. Can y'all see? It's a match, <laughs> it's a matching two-piece. I want y'all to see the leg, but this is, it's like a, it's flare. This can be a cool little dress. I said dress. This is a cool little outfit. You know what, so far so good. Like, when it comes to the fits, they look good. They're acceptable. They're acceptable. But it does not make fashion know her behavior excusable, right? Ooh. So this is the last, last dress. And you probably was like, yes, everything that I got was like dresses, except for the um the matching pieces uh, one. But I really just wanted like, you know, party outfit. If you remember, I said I wanted this outfit for when I was going to New York on my first video. And I asked Fashion Nova for my money back when it didn't came in on time for my New York trip. So I wish Fashion Nova had refunded me my money back so that I wouldn't have to wear this. I wouldn't have to be forced to get this clothes anymore after after they didn't send it to me on time, but Fashion Nova was like, no, we're gonna send you your clothes whether you want, whether you like it or not, and you deal with that. That was what they did to me, and here we are. So, this dress is nice, it's okay, but I would be much more happier if I didn't deal with this whole situation when it came to Fashion Nova. But I just, I'm, I cannot be happy with Fashion Nova. I just cannot. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if y'all think I'm being petty or not. I cannot be happy with Fashion Nova because their policy is unexcusable and it needs to be fixed and it needs to, something needs to be done about it immediately. Yeah, those dresses are cute, but you can get the same things elsewhere. You can go to pretty, pretty little things. You can go to Boohoo. You can go on Nasty Gal. There's this stuff called Old Poly. There's a lot of websites out there, guys, that will treat you better, that will respect you as customers and actually send you your stuff on time and, you know, have great customer service and they sell just the same thing as Fashion Over. Somebody even told me that you can get Fashion Over jeans on Amazon, okay, y'all? So yeah, this is for me to let y'all know that I feel you guys, I feel y'all. And some of you guys don't even have your stuff yet and it's just ridiculous. So it's like, from my experience, from reading y'all story, I cannot be happy with these clothes. Yeah, they're cute, they look nice, but I, I'm still not happy with it because of how everything went down. And the fact that they're still doing this to people is just making me sick. And they need to be stopped, seriously. Fashion Nova need to stop that. But I just want y'all to know, ladies, that I read all your comments. I feel for y'all. 
and I wish I could do more. I really truly wish I could do more. But since that I can, let's just continue to share this video. Let's continue to force people to watch this video so that we can get the message out and let people hear us, you know? But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy me trying on this little outfit for y'all. I hope <laughs> I hope things are getting better with Fashion Nova for everyone. I doubt it, but I hope it gets better. I hope some of y'all that still haven't got your stuff, I hope you get it. I hope you get situated or you get your money back, something back. I really hope so. And with that being said, I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. I will see you later. Bye-bye.